Louisiana Beer Review, Sierra Nevada Sidecar Orange Pale Ale. <laughs> okay. Packaged on April 25th, 2017. So we about four months into it. Uh, it'd probably be all right. These pale ales don't tend to be super hop action oriented anyway. 5.3% alcohol, 35 international bitterness units. They use two row pale, moonshine and honey malts. The hops are magnum for bittering and Cascade, Equinox, and Mandarino for the finishing hops. They also add orange. I just drank some orange juice a little while ago. Anyway, gets a good score on Beer Advocate, 84. So they're saying it's good. It's a good beer. Ray Beer, on the other hand, is saying it's a seven, a 71. It's like barely average. And then it's a 70 in the style, so it's low average in the style. Almost a bad beer. I'm not expecting a whole lot. Uh, I love Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. I adore the Torpedo. I cherish the Sierra Nevada Bigfoot. Some of their flavor stuff I could live without, honestly. But that's not to single out this company. I have a problem generally with these flavored concoctions. Not always, but generally. We were joking about that on a hangout two days ago. I said maybe somebody would make something that's not flavored. And I mean, they do, people do, but. This is the world in which we live today. Nice hiss though. I mean, it had a lot of carbonation. It just came out very forcefully. I like that sound. If there's any indication, this is gonna be a great beer. All right. <laughs> See some smoke here at 8.30 a.m. It's overcast, so there's not gonna be a whole lot of sunlight aiding my review. I can smell the orange already. <laughs> and the pale malts. And the FBI. Um, wow, that's a very stately ivory head. Fairly hazy orange gold appearance, or golden orange. I guess it's orange gold. Some bubble streams, decent amount of sediment. Well, wait a minute. A whole lot of sediment, lots of tan chunks, okay. All right, a lot of sediment. All right, all right. I bought this at Matherns. I, I have a tendency to pass these things over. I like I see the huckleberry, the orange, the strawberry, the pomegranate. I just keep on, you know, keep on going down the aisle. But then I say, oh, all right, I'll try it, I'll try it. But I'm going to try to be open-minded. I mean, you know, just, I have no reason to be otherwise okay all right all right okay <clears throat> honestly the aroma is more of pale malts bread bread spiced white bread that is what I'm picking up and the spices have to be coming from the hops because they have, they have no you know spices in there like, you know, like for instance Samuel Adams Boston Beer Company like has has a tendency to want to add a lot of spices to their beers especially in those variety packs. Okay, so, okay, it looks good, really, and it smells good. So we got A and A, all right? So the setup is nice. Let's see about the execution, because we buy beer to drink it, not to smell it and look at it. Those are just components of a review. First of all, the hops are still there in strength. It's a full 35 IBU. They haven't faded. No, no, no. Nice bitterness, uh, reminiscent of the standard 1980 Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. A lot of white bread, some white bread crust. Mouth feels medium, even high medium, almost into heavy. Well, yeah, let's say between medium and heavy. Let's put it right in there. You haven't met anybody that loved air compressors that much? I have not. The finish is mostly dry, or as Maria taught me, medium dry. She taught me to say that. 
Um, I noticed this cap, this hat, this whatever you call this thing. I would wear it in the cold of winter, but we rarely get days that are worthy of wearing this. But um, it's a different shade of red. You notice this is like a This is a bright red, brilliant red, and then this is more like that Philadelphia Phillies red, you know, that vermilion, vermilion, I don't know, I don't get it. Uh, anyway, the angels gave me this hat, gave me this hat. I want to thank the, Cali the California angels, yeah, okay. I want to thank the Los Angeles angels for giving me this cap and the keychain and the game program. Eleven years ago, when they were the Anaheim Angels, now they're the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. I'm shocked because I was thinking uh, this beer is going to be the Pits, and I'm looking at 71, 70, and I'm thinking Ugh. I'm going to get on here and say all kind of bad things about it. I cannot, in good conscience, do that though. I think it's better than what Beer Advocate's saying, 84. I think it's too low. Notice how I didn't talk about any orange yet. Yeah, I drank orange juice earlier. That shouldn't make any difference. I'll, I'll drink water following that. Boy, it's a full body on this. It's nearly heavy body. It's like bready in the body. Um, yeah, I don't know about the orange. It's almost like the orange acidity or whatever is being canceled out by the hop action. So I don't see where it's really much different than the regular pale ale, to tell you the truth. Um, so if the price was the same, I would just pick either or whatever was fresher okay, on the date. So if you're looking for a lot of orange uh, notes, orange character, um, I don't think you'll be too pleased. But if you're just looking for a good pale ale with breadiness, the, the bold but not you know, strong hoppiness, this should really work. Uh, so um, I have to retract my thoughts. I didn't record my thoughts. <laughs> but uh, before I was doing this, you know, I was setting up the camera and everything, I was thinking, oh, this is going to be a depressing review. Uh, but far from it, far from it. It's a solid. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna say A. It, I was gonna say A minus. No, it, it's an A beer. This is a most excellent beer. So you could be shocked in this beer drinking world. You could really be shocked. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. So lazy, lazy, le bon temps roulé. A surprisingly good beer. Surpri yeah, no, no cake sediment. A surprisingly good beer from a dynamite company, honestly. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Louisiana.